Okay, yeah. good. So please, what can you tell us about the Ebbe masquerade? The Ebbe masquerade of which, from the time memorial, you see it played. It is a masquerade that has a very big social significance. Now, it's not just the masquerade that you are seeing, but it plays an integral part in their culture and social, economic, and religious. religious uh, activities of the people. A masquerade, as you have rightly asked, goes a long way. It intertwines the foreign countries. For instance, in Cuba. We have a there okay. in Cuba. Okay. During our governor, last uh, one of the past governors, Donald Duke, discovered the masquerade in Cuba. Okay. and brought it down to Nigeria on one of those festival years. Also, in the, in the Cameroon country itself, that's the France, precisely the, the Cameroon, the Cameroon uh, country itself. Ikpe is also located there, traceable to the Ejagam, community okay you move down from the cameroon down here you come to nigeria you have the ekpe in the efo a food kuo ejagam ejagam there in the sense that the akampa locality the kuos there is in this in the sense when you categorize ikoransa Bikwa, Akam, Ikoraman. The Efik, the Tinapa locality, the Creek Town as a whole, the Calabar South here, yeah. precisely when, when we talk about Calabar South there, we are talking about the Efix now that shares boundary with water. And then when you move from there, you now go to Akwaibo they share the same culture. Not in all the parts of Akwaibo. Some part that has a kind of economic contact. Economic contact, precisely the riverine area. You have the Ekpe cult also there. For instance, you have Ekpe cult at Okobo in Oron. Oron after that, you have in Uruan local government, which is very, very... That Uruan is the father of the integral part of that society. Uruan plays an integral part in the initiation of the urban of Calabar. Okay. Now, I have my reasons of mentioning all these places to you. You now move from our locality, Cross River Aquaibum now, you now move to Bibos. You now have a pair. Even um okay, before we get down to the Ibos, let's date back again to Cross River, still in Cross River State. You have the Mbe at Ecom local government. You also have this same Mbe at Yako. They call they call themselves a Fugebrutu. You have it there. You move from Yakode, the people of uh, Abi. You have it there, you have it there also. Then you now shift. You see the boundary, the Igbo land? You now shift now to Eboin, Eboin State. If you get down there, the people of, I think, Ebariba, Ebariba people, which is in Igbo land, they also share the same cultural value. The people of Onhofia, they share the same cultural value. Do you understand? Yes, sir. So, Ekber society is an integral 
cultural society that cross across the continent. Cross across the continent. And one of the most important integral part of the functional part of the Ekpe is represents government. That's the most in quotes governance. If you go to our Calabar municipality, you see the statue. That's the number one beginning of governance. governance. Okay. Now, in the ancient days, people, when the missionary came, it was the same Ekpe cult society because it's a cult that moved people from church that recognized Christianity here in this part of the world. Do you understand to that extent? It's a bear called society that moved. So it's all about still the same government. And now, in areas where there is land dispute, it's a bear cult that is always used to settle the disputes. The in in uh, in uh, in assessing any new any new um, what do you call it? Any new change in government is the Ekpe call that restores the government because within the Ekpe called society itself, we have stages of its initiation. The number one stage that you have to go through, which all of us went through, then from there to other stages, just like you have in government, you have local government, federal government, sorry, local state government and local government. Ekpe is also on that stages. So when you get to that highest stage, it is a decisional making body that presides what happens in the community. So that is, in all I'm trying to tell you here is that it's a functional part of governor the Ekpe called society okay. it's not just the fantasy you see on the street on ceremonial days but it has an integral part of functional role to play which is what the governance of the people okay. thank you sir okay uh, does this state the masquerade have any traceable origin uh, yes it has traceable origin in the sense that uh, uh, if you look at it, uh, it's from a marine, uh, the traceable origin because Ekpe is not just a mere physical cult, it's a spiritual cult. So we, they fix their foot and their back, but we trace the Ekpe called society to an answer which is the marine goddess and this marine goddess is traceable to egypt where it came okay. and when it came down here according to our forefathers for a meeting the marine so much got interested in our social life here how we live the communal life and refused to go back with other people that is the folk that we were told when we were young and so it came here it brought a lot of good tidings those women that were barren got pregnant because of the presence of the announcer and all that till date till date the affix is still playing a major role in in acknowledging announcer now that an answer dates back to the naval command base here that is called an answer. If you go through the ship, you see the statue representing the goddess. So it's the origin is traced down spiritually, we might not say physical. It's spiritual. It's spiritual. Okay. I thank you. Okay, what can you tell us is the level of prestige of the masquerade like is, is it the highest rank masquerade in the locality where it's found uh well it uh well Ekbe called society is the highest okay for instance it, it really comes out 
like every other masquerade. Every other masquerade, you can see it anytime you so wishes and all that. But if uh, calls uh, uh, masquerade comes out on a real case on important ceremonial activity that is happening within the community. For instance, at the demise of the king, also at the coronation of a new king, then when the Obong of Calabar is traveling outside the state or anywhere within Nigeria, outside Nigeria, it goes with the Ekpe masquerade itself to show symbol of authority. So it is it has an integral play just like I told you in governance. In governance. Yeah. Even during just like I said coronation. It is the Ekpe that is caught the Obon of Calabar to the church of which is going to be coronated. That is in the spiritual aspect in the church. But it waits by the corner of the church, not inside the church. It's there as a symbol of protection to the king. And after that, it escorts the king back to his residence. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay, uh, we've talked about, okay, does the masquerade have secrecy? Of course, if, if it does not have secrecy, then we will not, because the original, you call it a bear, but we call it Cult. It's a secret society. You don't just walk in like that and get initiated in those stages. You have to pass through one stage to the other. And whatever that you experience in the first stage, you do not tell the secret to non-initiates. And now the people at the second stage of initiation does not tell the secret of the second initiation to the first initiates until you are capable and you are liable to get to that level. So it becomes a secret. Okay. Okay. You get the point? Yes, sir. That people in the first stage of initiation or first initiates, they don't tell secrets to non-initiates. Non then people in the second level of initiate don't tell, don't tell secret to the first initiate. People in the third initiate, initiate don't tell secret to second initiate. initiate. So everything becomes a secret. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Can we say that the masquerade has any spiritual significance? Because first of all, you say that it's the the origin can be traced spiritually. Yes. And can we say that the masquerade has any spiritual significance of course okay. it has spiritual significance because we are talking about an answer here which is the water goddess okay. yeah. so it's a spirit it's purely a spiritual matter what you are seeing is what you are seeing is just a fiji here on the land the physical part of it and all that and all that you see but the main thing is purely Spiritual. Okay. Okay. What can you tell us is the social significance, the social value? You said earlier that it helps in in settlement of disputes, yeah. and it's a symbol of authority too. Yeah. Are there other social significances to the yes. masculine? Yes. For instance, uh, you see it brings about social unity. You see people coming from, like I said, Ebriba during the demise of a particular king. We, they, they always they put up a memo down to maybe, for instance, if there is uh, the, at the demise of the Obon Council here, at the Obon of Calabar. The council will now put up a memo to all the location where the Ekbe, Ekbe masquerade is found. Even in Cuba, the Cameroon, the Cameroonians that as, is associated with the cult also, the Ibus that is associated, the Akwaibomites, and our brothers. 
the northern and the central cross riveria that is associated all of them so it fosters what we call national unity it fosters national unity now in the aspect of uh, uh, religious now religious activities that is going on today is this equal called when the missionary came that drove people before this time people go to their social their economic activities from monday till from sunday till sunday but when the missionaries came in they said no sunday is regarded as a day of worshiping god but you know you know human beings they are very rigid when it comes to how they live their life so the king as a then order that the masquerade being a symbol of authority should stop every economic activities on sundays everybody should do what move to church you can date you can go and if you can see the material at the museum where the masquerade was pursuing people from economic activities within the calabar river here to church so that was how christianity or the missionary fostered christianity among us here in this part of the country then when we talk about this dispute here maybe in terms of land it is the masquerade that is always used to place injunction until that land dispute is settled and when there are uh, criminal activities and investigation uh, we are trying to find out physically and maybe it becomes cumbersome to come out with the right truth it is the Ekbe cult society through what we call Mbiam. Mbiam. Mbiam is an idol that will expose who perpetuated that particular criminal act and is under the Ekbe cult society. I told you that, uh, as I earlier mentioned, Ekbe cult society is very, very vast. Not just being myopic of what you see, the effigy you see here on ceremonial days, I told you it has to do with governance. And the same, just like you have in your English uh, uh, governance system, you have, the, you have the governor, the cabinet, the, and his cabinet, the same thing too, applicable, right? Uh -huh. So it's also for just like I said, foster unity. You might be surprised to see a white man coming all over from his continent and asking to be an initiate. We welcome you, we initiate you, and you become a member. So that is it. Okay, um, let me ask something. You say it was, it was a form of government. Yes, it, not a, it was. It's still... still a form of government. Still form. The tradition, the traditional yes. Yeah. It's still, and it will continue to be. Because even when the English governor is about to be, uh, to ascend office, the Ekpe called society must also be there. So it plays an integral part, just that's why I say, in quotes, is a integral part of governance if you cannot get anything today get that line very straight integral part of governance okay sir thank you